It's time to hear from our next returning pianist. Hey, Malisa. And she played her own composition. Oh, yes, yeah, she played. Yeah, 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 right. During her performance at St. Pancras, I actually fell in love with baby cousin Hayden, who's all grown up now. Hello. Where have I gone? Here I am. Where have I gone? Here I am. Oh, so cute, this one. You're a big softy. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Not too much. I'm but Scrooge. Done. Yeah? I'm definitely Scrooge. But once you have a kid, it changes you. I feel sorry for the kid. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? So lovely, lovely to, to see, see you. you. I've been playing with Hayden. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Tell me all about you. You so impressed <laughs> Lang Lang and Mika. I know that you love Lang Lang. Yeah. What was the whole experience like for you? Yeah, it was really cool to meet someone that I guess I looked up to in terms of classical playing. So. Yeah. And are you happy to be back in the station again with the piano? Yes, yeah, it feels great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, how much do you enjoy Christmas? Yeah, it's just nice spending, spending quality time with my family, I guess. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Christmas, Christmas. There are the Christmas pictures. Eh? Christmas has been a crazy part of my piano journey because my dad got me a keyboard on 2017 Christmas. In the first year of me playing, like before I had lessons, I learned off watching YouTube videos. And they used to have like all the game songs that I loved to play. And I was like, imagine if I could play this on the piano. And I feel like it started from that. Beautiful. Look at the smile. Look at the smile. <laughs> <laughs> teaching yourself most people would be using the wrong fingers so I took lessons and then I did like a year of like relearning how to play piano usually it takes someone 10 to 12 years to get to grade 8 but for me it took me four years it's just amazing how she plays how can you pick something up so quickly so it's definitely a natural gift and um, yeah we're just very proud of her yeah very yeah I was quite shy and I didn't really have that much confidence back in secondary school and just like speaking in general. And I feel like the piano has helped me overcome that and given me a lot of confidence. So I decided that I want to study a bachelor's in arts and music performance at Trinity Lab and Conservatoire of Music. I just sort of put an application and see what happens and I didn't really think I could actually get in. When we looked at it, you know, it's more like, a, like, it's like the Oxford of, of yeah. music, you know? I think it's quite crazy me listening to anime and game music and now me studying at Trinity Lab and playing sort of music that I like. I don't know if I didn't get that keyboard for Christmas. I don't know if I would have been where I am now. So thanks, Dad. <laughs> Tell me about the piece you're going to play today. Um, I'm going to be playing in my original composition, Reflections, and it's about, like, snow, blizzards, and, like, ice. And I feel like when I play it, you can visualise that in, like, the winter season. That's not easy. Yes. Now, how do you create texture out of right. sound? That's right. always the biggest challenge. Yeah. bit of ice. This is pretty good. And if I'm trying to describe what I see, it's not like a summer night. It's definitely... Winter. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like yes. life on pause, yeah. nature on pause. Yeah. You know, she's playing better than last time. Yeah. Her rhythm is more stable. Yeah. Huh? Interesting. A little bit of distance. Yes, yeah. 
and now they just now go once. You see? Much better. Yeah. yeah, now she certainly gave a, a new approach. This is so much yeah. more interesting. Listen to this. Usually when I'm composing, it's about my emotions and the way I feel. And hopefully my compositions will have an impact on people. Yeah, that's what my main reason for composing is. She keeps her feelings inside, and I think um, Melissa's compositions are her feelings being yeah. expressed by her music. Via the music. Yeah. Yeah. I think music is a way for me to like communicate when I can't <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Woo! Melissa, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Melissa, everybody! <laughs> if you look at all the best Christmas songs and the best pieces of Christmas music, they always have this underpinning of happy, sad. She put it a lot of thoughts in. Huh? It suddenly took on yeah. more emotion. You yeah, know? I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Who's your favorite? The best emotion. Yeah, that's the, the most touching moment. Bye. 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 Can we talk about Melissa? I really get everything what she's trying to describe, like uh, blizzard, uh, yes. uh, winter, snow. snow. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so much more interesting harmonically uh, yeah. than last time. I thought the composition was really wonderful. Before we're treated to some more surprise Christmas music, we've gathered all of our Christmas pianists together to reveal who has been awarded Mika and Lang Lang's favorite festive performance. Hello. Merry Christmas, hello. Lovely to see you all together. Thank you so much for playing in King's Cross Station. Two people are desperate to see you all again. Please welcome Mika and Lang Lang. Aww. Bravo. Bravo. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. And thank you. So nice to see you again. Incredible playing. And singing. <laughs> I know yeah, you. Yeah, not you, Tom. <laughs> Tom, did you practice a lot before the? It might surprise you that I I did actually <laughs> uh, a lot. <laughs> a lot. Um, I know that you two were so impressed with seeing our pianist again. Daniel, do you know how happy we were to see you again? Hmm. Your music is changing because you're growing up with your instrument, and we got to hear a little bit of that. Yeah. Your left hand is so powerful. Thank you. And your voice is such a confident voice. And uh, Melissa, I hear so much development since last time. I mean, you're really putting so many great feelings and emotions and contrast into your reflection. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a great job. Once again, you're evolving with your instrument, and it's a real relationship that you're yeah. having. And if we talk about relationships with the instrument, I think we have to talk about Harry and Fiona. Fiona. It was really intimate. Very delicate. And also, it was such a classy jazz approach where your left hand kept the time and your right hand duetted with Fiona. You were going to choose your favorite festive performance. So, for us, the choice is clear and it is Harry and Fiona <laughs> Bravo <laughs> oh. Unbelievable Yes Congratulations